But I do need to reload because I... Damn, that is a quick-ass reload. Holy shit. Okay. So we just got out of the tanker. We're now in the mines. Um, okay, so yeah. Wait, no. What is the way I'm supposed to be going? No, I came from there. Okay, so I am going the right way. Okay, cool. It just looks the same on both ways. Alright, so we have escaped the tanker. We now need to go find Evelyn. And we should be in a good enough place, resource-wise. Um... I'm just going to go ahead and use this, because I kind of suck at using these. So might as well just use them while I actually remember to do so. But if I remember correctly, this is the part of the game where there's going to be a crap ton of uh, mold enemies. And there's Evelyn singing. Oh! See? Never even knew there was something around this corner. Uh, Magnum ammo. But I did not get the back though, so not much use to me. I really need to remember on repeat playthroughs that I need to just go ahead and buy that first. But I never do. Never remember. Nope. Oh, that fucking got me. <laughs> Alright, but there are going to be a lot of these guys. Alright. I got plenty of ammo, though. I just need to not be crazy stingy. But I am being super stingy. That's like... Just use that shotgun. And there's a limited amount, so I can kind of use some fallback tactics. It's not like there's going to be a unlimited uh, source of them coming at me. God, it is so much harder to spot resources in first person, though. <laughs> like in Resident Evil 2 and 3 Remake, like even granted aside from like the telling you if you've gotten everything out of a room, um, I feel like I would just kind of naturally find everything by myself. No heads. How's my health doing? I'm okay. I got plenty of resources. Something over here, though. Yeah, I got, I got ammo for days. You're dead. I actually remember this being so much harder. I do have these bombs, which um, there we go. And you remember to actually fucking use them. Machine gun ammo. There we go. Yeah, let's actually use these bombs. There we go. Now you can say I at least used them. Oh. Let's get this going. Oh, how the fuck are you still alive? Alright, am I in the red? No. Alright, just keep going. Alright, I believe this is where I'm about to fight the, uh... Freaking big ol' uh, molded dudes. I did not bring the grenade launcher. This would have been helpful, but... Shit. Okay. Alright, so let's just focus on one at a time. God damn it. Run, Ethan. 
This is not fast running. Just keep getting headshots and run. Damn it. There's not really much you can do to like block these either. They just kind of bark where they want. This is kind of like the last real battle of the game. Oh, fuck. Come on. Heal. Shit. Oh, come on. That's just a fucking stun lock. Ah, uh, fucking Christ. Yeah. This battle's a pain in the ass. Not a fan of it, personally. So let's go ahead and... Maybe I just need to, like, shotgun him to death. Probably should have saved the fucking bombs now I think about it. Oh, what the fuck? You guys are walking back. Just want to see if I can stay aggressive. Maybe that'll work. Oh! Yeah, I guess the shotgun works. The machine gun sure as fuck doesn't. I'm out of ammo, though. So not much of a choice on that front. Unless... Okay, burner. I don't have my burner. And strong first aid. Okay. That was the last fight of the game, so we are good. Yeah, probably should have just remembered to pack the grenade launcher, the burner. But we are all good now, so not like it super matters. I kind of just love when games kind of like make, come uh, when they when they come full circle to like where you are to where you were in the beginning of the game, or even things like Dead Space Two, uh, bringing you back to the area of the first game, the Ishimura. And like, oh yeah, the entrance to the mine was actually in this one room right here, where you found the dolly. Where you uh, first uh, lost Mia. It was here the whole time. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. And now it's just kind of recontextualizing from before because you didn't know it was Mia that broke down the door. You thought she got kidnapped. But now we know better. <laughs> they just keep phasing through. This is your fault. Why am I seeing this? Ethan, it's okay. It's okay, it's me. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, mommy. But oh, you shouldn't. Kind of seen how I've Evelyn was that. uh was actually there the whole time or whatever, like influencing it's fucking her. Hard. Does it want to be my daddy? Then he can die. <laughs> what an evil little shit. Now it's 
it's mommy's turn to kill you. Alright, so we need to... I don't think you even have to go over here, but I'm going to do it either way. Because <laughs> I do like this part. They're gonna be one of us. And then maybe you'll play nicely. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! Come on, you're not actually hurting me. Because you're not actually here. I don't remember that doll being here, though. Can I slash it? Nope. Yeah, I love coming back to, like, early game areas. And, uh... And just in an entirely new context, especially here, because, like, oh yeah, now we know Evelyn was a thing, and you didn't necessarily know that uh, from the offset. Oh, here's another. <laughs> oh, that scared the fucking shit out of me the first time. Especially when you don't know if it's actually real or not, whether you can, like, actually take damage. So now we just gotta get close. No, no. She can actually kill you here, I think, if you don't block these bigger me. bursts. No, no, no. No, no, no. And then if you hadn't pieced it together by this point, uh, Evelyn's body aged very quickly. She was the grandma the whole time. That's why she wasn't... That's why Grandma wasn't any of the pictures. Probably because you're killing everybody. There's gonna be some real silent ill uh, four vibes with a face coming out of the wall. I just love how fucking over top this is. It's so good. Oh yeah, I forget it even gives you ammo back here. There's not really too much of a challenge. You just gotta keep shooting. Oh, fuck. Shit. I would imagine it's pretty hard to lose this, to lose out this part. hoped for a more gameplay oriented boss fight but um, in terms of spectacle this is uh, a hell of a fight I do like the emphasis on blocking though versus uh, dodging like the damage is inevitable you're gonna have to deal with it head on For being a normal human, Ethan has taken a lot of shit, and granted, he has like, some kind of weird fucking mold parasite or some weird fucking thing because he's able to like reattach his arm and everything. But yeah, he's taking a hell of a beating here. And relatively walking it off. Playtime for
I like how this gun's actually called, uh, I forget if it's Wesker or Albert, but it's a direct reference to Albert Wesker. And she's dead now. <laughs> Dissolving into polygons. That's a waste of a good house, though. Like, aside from it being old and obviously, like, in shitty disarray, uh, the Bakers had a nice... had nice property that was not being put to great use once they were... I don't want to say zombified, moldified, whatever. Now we're just like, oh, who the fuck is this? And this is a moment that like confused the shit out of so many people, including me. We're like, who's this guy? I'm Redfield. Redfield? Is, is that Chris Redfield? You don't look like fucking Chris Redfield. You don't look like fucking Boulder the fuck Boy. Took you guys so long? And then obviously it came out after that. Capcom's just like, yeah, we decided to go with like a new face model because apparently Resident Evil 5 Chris didn't look realistic enough. I'm just like, well. Bodybuilders exist, and we all know Chris. That does not look like Chris. Mia. You made it. I'm glad. Did I? Until Resident Evil 8, where you allegedly get gunned down. They say that when one door closes, another opens. Well... A door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. So where the Not fuck did the me. tanker come from? <laughs> me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. Yeah, and then this. And like, they they leave this without any context. It's like, wait. And these guys one, it's the Umbrella. Ass. They're supposed to be done. Fucking dead. After uh, losing me. the Raccoon City incident in now Resident Evil 2 and 3. Put all this behind us. And uh, and now you have this fucking Redfield guy, this Chris Redfield dude, who doesn't look like Chris Redfield, working with Umbrella. Chris would never do that, so it's like, what the fuck is a weird mix-up? And obviously, they go into it in, um, in the Not a Hero DLC, which we're going to do right now. But, like, that came out like months and months and months and months and months after the game came out so, so we were just sitting here just like wait what is that, is that actually chris is is it is it an imposter kind of a weird thing to leave just up in the air and i absolutely love the uh horror re-endition here of uh go tell aunt rody which i've only heard a couple times prior to the game I did get a message, though. But yeah, that is the base game of Resident Evil 7. Ha. <laughs> Freaking message. Um, yeah, that's the base game. I think it is probably one of the best Resident Evil games, hands down. Like, if I had to give, like, a general off the top of my head rating, um, like, I have some weird personal listings I'd probably do where I, I'd probably put six way higher than it probably deserves to be just in terms of like well objective quality isn't a thing in an, in an opinion based field but if I'm being honest about with like the overall quality and I think I think you kind of understand what I'm trying to say it objectively would not be quite as high as some of the other ones so for me at least it would probably be let me think four Resident Evil 2 Remake. Seven. Five or three are kind of inter... Five or the remake of three are pretty interchangeable. Resident Evil 6 afterwards. And... Uh, I don't know where I'd put the classics. Probably Resident Evil 1 Remake after that. But I was never actually all that too big into the classics like the first Resident Evil like I I super got into uh, playing wise was Resident Evil 4 um, the first three slash uh, Veronica however you want to include that in there 
Um, I, I, those are something I kind of like watched my cousin play growing up. So I, I absorbed it through that at the very least. But uh, let's go ahead and get out of this cutscene. Because that about covers that. And then we'll go ahead and jump into... Let's see, playtime, five, five and a half hours, that's fine. Plus, I did the tapes when I didn't have to, so that would obviously obviously cut down on time. I found most of the antique coins. I didn't realize there was only 18. I apparently only missed three Mr. Everywheres. Healing items. Yeah. Decent. Not great. Alright, so let's go ahead and do... Not a hero. So this is the free DLC that came out months and months and months after. So let's just do a new game. Normal. And already ready to load. Nice. Fucking company. <laughs> At least Crystal has a sense of humor. Is it ready? Can we begin? Oh, uh, it's not Chris. I'm sorry. That's, uh... Why did I, I almost say Elliot? Uh, help it, man. Fuck, why am I blinking? Got work to do. Jack, Marguerite, and uh Why am I blinking on the name? Holy shit. Hey, they're gonna say it in a moment, I'm gonna feel really stupid. Chris, did we lose him? No no. Ethan Winters has been secured. He's alive and well, considering. And Lucas Baker? Right Luke, now, there we fucking go. He's next on my list. Alright, so just real quick, just gonna give a heads up on Twitter. And now we are on to the. Uh, All right. Whoops. Bring that back. All, All right. right. I'm in the mine. Signal strong. You're coming through loud and clear, Chris. We didn't get much from the first unit before we lost contact, but apparently Lucas turned the mine into his own personal hideout. How many men did we lose? Three of our best. Their last transmission was near a lab that should be just ahead. I'm going to need you to check it out. Got it. All right, so this little part is uh, reused from... Um, in the main game, but the majority of this is all going to be completely, uh, it's still m predominantly mine areas, but it, it, it's new levels and whatnot. Um, let me double check what I have right here. Briefing documents. Uh, Operation Lurking for your primary mission. Extract Lucas Baker. Location Dolby, Louisiana, USA. Baker State. Threat and profile. Molded. Alpha variant. Others. Anti-personal traps. Lethal and non. Due to the lack of intelligence and the number of unknown factors involved, Chris Redfield of the BSAA will act as a bioweapons specialist on missions. Location updates. Recent intel has confirmed that Lucas Baker is holed up in the mines near the Baker Estates. Uh, suspected associate of criminal organization, the connections, role unconfirmed, holds vital intel regarding said or organization. Uh, profile the connections. Criminal organization producing bioweapons for sale on the international black markets. Limited intel on size, market share, and members. They are prime suspects implicated in the production of distribution of the E-Series bioweapon. E-Series being the... Evelyn. Oh, I guess I do right here. Uh, E-Series model Evelyn is present and active at the Baker Estate. Luke Baker seems to be monitoring her and reporting on her activities. Alright, so we can maybe get rid of that? Nope, can't get rid of it. Uh, letter in regarding Umbrella's goal. So the new Neo Umbrella, whatever. Uh, for many of you, this is your first mission with us, so we wanted to make clear what Umbrella is all about. Though many of our staff hail from the infamous pharmaceutical giant Umbrella, our purpose is to make amends for the atrocities perpetuated under the Umbrella name. That is why we reincorporated as a PMC in 2007. We will put a stop to not only anyone who is engineering or selling bioweapons, to the, but to those who support those efforts as well. Uh, we made a mess, and now we have to clean it up. By keeping the Umbrella name, we have... We show that we take responsibility for that mess, and we want you to remember that that you carry this responsibility with you to every mission. All right. So yeah, that's 
kind of the briefing that we really needed. Alright, so we have a mission knife, as Deadly uh. Premonition would call it. So yeah, this is a little bit more action base than the than the uh, base game. We can now do uh, uh, contact-sensitive contact melee attacks, which will save us a decent amount of ammo. And since we're playing on PC, we're going to be much better with our punches and whatnot. So, I'm not better with punches, better with our shots, which also means more punches. So, it's a win-win. There you go. Oh, didn't mean to do that, but I... Definitely more capable than Ethan. I'm actually curious to see how much more in this direction they're going to the go with eight. Ahead. Any idea what Lucas is up to down here? We're just considering that, that guess, Ethan's going to be like more cable. He's already been dealing with this shit, seat. you know? Let's hope those men haven't become a part of those experiments. Let's see nothing over here. I really need some more of those psycho stimulants so I can kind of breeze through this a little faster, I guess. Because now I'm just kind of checking for shit manually, like grenades. And I am horrible at remembering to use grenades in basically every single game, especially if it's a separate equipable item. So, need to keep an eye out for that. I'm getting you out of here. Leave me. It's too late. We're both walking out of here. I got news for you. What? That's not gonna happen. Oh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> now, Pulling you a fucking jigsaw over here. But I'd advise against. My hand might slip and. Lucas! No! Uh, Oops. <laughs> now, here's the deal, Chris. You don't follow me, and I'll bounce your head off the ceiling. Huh. The same goes for your little soldier brains, too. Adios. Move, chachos. <laughs> Alright, so that sets the uh, premise for this game. Or I guess this DLC. You have a bomb on you. And you need to find a way to get it off. Keep an eye on your oxygen tank to be safe. Uh, so in, in addition to getting Lucas, we also need to uh, get this shit off safely. Your oxygen tank is at 50%. And there is going to be poison, which was not a factor in the original game. So, like got to be careful certain areas and get you to safety. Get that bomb on your arm deactivated. There's no time. I don't want to give that asshole a head start. Understood. Just be careful. <laughs> it's such a fucking risky thing to do. Just like, yeah, I'm fine with this bomb. It's cool. I know he can detonate it whenever he wants, but can't let him get ahead. You would solve so many. We would not have to fucking make a little backtrack journey to like get rid of the bomb. You can just go back and take care of it now, dude. Why you gotta be like this, Chris? Don't be like this, Chris. Shit. the data we intercepted from Lucas. It's like we thought. The son of a bitch has been sending status reports on Evie to the connections. Find him and bring him in. We can't let this happen again. Are you sure you just don't want to recruit him? <sighs> Chris, we've been over this. <laughs> Maybe the BSAA is convinced. If they weren't, I wouldn't be here. But working with Umbrella is going to take some getting used to on my part. I know it must be difficult. And to tell the truth, a lot of our members have been with us since even before we reincorporated as a PMC. About all that's left now is the name. Let's just focus on the mission and maybe we can continue this conversation when you get back. Okay? Sure. Whatever. So kind of just reiterating um, what we read in that letter slash giving us Chris's reluctance. So here's kind of like the main little hub area of this DLC where you're, there's basically branching pathways. They're going to go over from like here, here, and here. And you come back to the central area to uh, make some more progress. 
So where is the item box? Let's deposit shit we do not need. And we can also save. And I forget exactly what we have to do here, but we basically have to... Oh, got a grenade. Steroids, um, and a stabilizer for reload speed. Uh, I'm gonna do do a horrible job at finding any of these coins, so it doesn't really matter. Alright, so there's gonna be like some slight Metroidvania progress in that we're getting like new equipment that'll allow us to go into new rooms and whatnot, like for other challenges that we're not <laughs> prepared for. But uh, we'll get to that when we get to that. I believe this is the correct way to go. And that was basically a loading screen. I don't believe we can open this door. Nope. I mean, this area is entirely way too poison, so let's not even bother. Because we will not make it. Alright, so we've learned that area is a no-no. We need some kind of improved mask. Alright, so that's a no. Um... That's not a path over there, but this is... So let's try going over here. Just trying to be very wary, because there's a lot of traps in this DLC. There's one of our guys. Come on, Chris. Talk, and talk to the guy. You okay in there? Field. Don't worry. I'm gonna find a key to this thing and get you out of there. <laughs> yeah, let's just uh, play with our knife here. Alright, so we gotta come back for that guy. Uh, he's gonna have a little upgrade for us, but we can't get to him right now. So we're just gonna keep playing with our knife for now. Because this is what soldiers do when they're bored. Alright, so we got a couple. Maybe this is a good time to toss a grenade. I toss it way. Oh! Nope, it actually worked. Oh, I can't believe I got that headshot. Damn, there are a lot of you guys. It's gonna go. Oh, fuck. Okay. Back up. Got a little cocky there. There we go. Damn, there are so fucking many of you. I don't think this is, this is like some kind of rifle, not a shotgun. Alright, so that should do it for now. Can I even... No, you can't combine stuff. So there's like limited health resources. You can't make more. Oh, fuck. No, maybe it is a shotgun. What is this? Yeah, an Albert Wesker model shotgun. Cool. Uh, everything's named after Albert Wesker for whatever reason. They have some level of reverence for uh, old boy Albert. 
Neo Nero stun grenade. A grenade that releases a paralyzing gas that stuns nearby enemies. Um, stick with the grenades for now. If we run out of hang, I'm sorry, frag grenades. If we run out of frag grenades, we'll go and swap to those Nero ones. Got a gear. Which we have to put on something. There we go. So you need the key to get over there. And the key is... Where in here exactly? Am I missing something? Like super obvious? <laughs> Am I supposed to rotate you? It needs something else. Okay, maybe I don't need a key to go through here? No, I definitely do. Okay, let's look at the map. Um, okay. I don't remember this DLC very well, apparently. So I already got the gear over here. That is correct. Handgun ammo. Nice, but not what I was looking for. Antique coin. I will absolutely use that. Oh, here we go. Crank. Damn, I was about to go back too. I was about to think like the clown key was somewhere this else. Ought to do it. Oh shit. That is not good. And this guy, he's some kind of weird extra mold. Please tell me what I'm looking at. So we can't even damage them. Oh fuck. Shit, 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 shit. This guy's fucking sprinting at me. Fuck that. Let's just get the key and get the fuck out. Oh, nope. Jesus. That scares the shit out of me, to be quite honest. <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright, so that said cell key, so let's go back to the um, cell with our buddy. There's no button in here. Severe design flaw. I'm here to save you, buddy. Everything's all right now. Of course, you can't even see what their face. Just what he wants you to think. I'm just the bait, and you fell for it. What? You couldn't have mentioned that a little bit sooner. Oh, shit. That this was a trap. Take the filter. What an asshole. I'm in mask. Hurry. But you'll die. I'm, I'm dead either way. This is some saw shit right here. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing you can do. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is some serious fucking saw shit. Holy shit. I'm sorry. Hurry up and put your fucking oxygen on, Chris. Come on. Have some sense of urgency. Lucas. High grade filter. Alright, so now we can uh, last in this place. Uh, yeah, our boy got his head chopped off. He got a little ahead of himself. Yep, we can see some of his face. Alright, so let's go back to the gas area. 
because now we can do that. Which was over here, I think. I can't wait to get my hands on that asshole. Just remember we need him alive, Chris. Yeah, yeah. No time to go back to the item box. I'll do it once I get back. There we go. Looks like funky. Grenade. Oh yeah, here's a special kind of enemy that we can't really do much about at the moment. I believe we can cripple it. But we can't kill it. It has some kind of special mold that we need uh, special munitions to effectively do anything. Antique coin. Narrow. Oh, you know what? Paralyzing gas. That would probably be a little more useful to my current situation. Oh. Going this way. So this will at least let me uh, get past them, but nope. Running fast. Oh, night vision to. Alright, you're stunned. Oh, I accidentally tossed that at my face. I need to go through. Night vision. Shit. Alright, where do I need to go? Um. Okay, yeah, because I can't see shit. Wait, did that actually kill it? Stun grenade? Oh, maybe it did. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is the right place. Shotgun. That injector. Anti-regen ammo. Those ramrods should allow you to take down the new white mold variants. Good. All right, so I only really need to shoot him with one shot with this, and then we can go to town. Night vision device. Really should have gone into this entire situation with this kind of equipment. But we did not. So this is the situation we find ourselves in. All right. Let's get this open. Jump down. I think there's tiny little fucking spider shits around here too. Forget what the order on these is. R, whatever. So we're gonna try this. I'm gonna try every possible solution because it's only three switches, and it's probably gonna be a better way to do this later. But nope. Oh, there we go. Got it. Shit. Alright, so these don't need molt shots. The ramrod, whatever. Time to grab my other grenades. Uh, 
I think I killed all of them, so that is fine by me. Yeah, got them all. Cool. Used a lot of ammo for that, though. Maybe I should start using my weaker pistol ammo for that, though, because I do like my shotgun shots, but... There we go. I don't even necessarily... Oh, fucking shit. Okay, I forgot about the turrets. Are you dead, dead? Alright, so I believe as long as you crouch, they can't see you for whatever reason. So this is mainly to, uh... So that if you have an enemy behind you... Oh, mother fucker, exactly like that. Let's pull my regular pistol ammo in, and then if I need to, I'll swap. That should work a little better. Is there something here? Are these like actual mummies things? Keeping extra bodies down here? Is this where the molding process took place? In the mines? God damn it. Okay, shit. Can't go that way. But you won't shoot the molds. Apparently. Okay. Can't go that way. Lesson learned. <laughs> Don't want to get shot. Fucking... Fucking turrets. Oh, now they shoot them, okay. No turrets over here. There we go. I got thumb too. More ammo. Oh. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. No! That probably hit me a little bit. Oh, god damn. I couldn't even do anything about that. Didn't even have no arms or fucking head. Just fucking charged straight at me. Alright. Um, I don't really have to fight you. So I'm not going to. Oh, I went the wrong way. Apparently I do. Do you have a lockpick though? Don't know. Doesn't matter. There we go. I think this is the exit, right? Yep. So now we've got night vision. So now we can go to the other pathway, which we have not gone down yet. Yeah, the first time I played this, this was a bit more <laughs> confusing, but 
So I don't remember like every specific little thing, but I do remember a bit of the Metroidvania like elements. Uh, let's deposit these coins since we're up here already. Let's just get more health. Because health is good. There we go. Got the steroids. And I'm actually going to save that for when we have a bit of damage because it can heal you. We have limited health resources in this DLC. Alright, night visions. So those are bombs. Don't step on those. Surprisingly no explosives yet. Exploring for shit right now. Use the lockpick. Master of unlocking over here. Got some more ramrods. Don't step on those. But yeah, trying to go go through here without the night vision is a fucking uh, disaster waiting to happen. You will die very quickly, <laughs> as I learned. I kind of mapped out like half of it, I think, just like mentally. But it's still not a great idea. Just wait till you get the night vision goggles. It'll make your life so much easier. <laughs> not even bothering to push this hand. Oh, God damn it. Oh, no, 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 wait, no. Damn, I was supposed to use a steroid. I forgot. Alright, so here's a little bit of a tiny puzzle here. We need to get you out of the way. Because we can't push you. Um, we can't push you to destroy the objectives, I should say. We can't push you over there. Nope. Like, is there even, like, a good method to stopping that? Do I have to, like, shotgun blast you? Let's push you. And here we go. You know what? Before I forget, let's just use a fucking steroid right now. Max health increased. Can't use a clown door. There should be bombs around here. Can't open that right now. Okay. Antique coin. And here's a copy of the fucking spooky clown. Shit. <laughs> Good headshot. Spin it around pulling that shit off. There we go. Reload. Oh, one of you. That is a fucking powerful ass shot. Did I parry that shit or something? Okay. Spooky vision. Oh. It's also a good thing that we have the night vision. Alright. Very 
carefully. Go over here, duck. Go over here. Hey, you okay? Hang on. I'm coming. Just gotta navigate through here. If I remember, there's like a really arbitrary way to not die in this room. I believe you have to grab your teammate first, right? Marquez? I could be wrong. I might be about to die. Yeah. Eats. Fuck. Am I about to die? Yeah. Yeah, that was a trap. I fucked up. See, I saw the other path. I'm just like, oh, maybe I should check for items first. And that's exactly what you should do because Lucas is a cheating little fucking shit. And even though you navigate around this. Hey, you okay? Uh, Hang on. I'm coming. Even though you navigate around this, uh, he's a cheating little shithead. Chew to his character. But thankfully, the checkpoints are good. It's not like a super big rob. You just kind of have to remember that kind of thing for your speedruns or whatever, next playthroughs. And obviously, I didn't remember it for my next playthrough. So, shame on me. Right now, let's go get our buddy. Oh! <laughs> Okay, I got cocky. I didn't, I didn't think stabbing the explosive would make an explosion. So, that that one's on me. That was fucking funny though. <laughs> I should have uh, should have known better. But I did not, and that's my own damn fault. All right, let's go get this stupid thing. Next time, don't stab the bombs. Do not stab the explosive device. We're already in the clear. Don't fuck it up. Don't leave your comrade, says the subtitles. Hey. Hey, you still with us? Uh, yeah, it's you. Thanks. I was beginning to think we'd been left behind. I think I think we can get out this way. Luke is a fucking psycho. I'm sure what's worse, him or those things. Definitely, Luke. We gotta get out of here. Over here. We can get out. Up through there. Oh, fuck. You gotta be kidding me. Fuck! 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 Get this thing off of me! No! <laughs> uh. Chris, all your teammates are getting decapitated in one way or another. I'm getting real tired of playing games. Three men, Lucas. Three of my men dead because of you. This ends. And it ends now. Well, I don't think so. It's about to be four yeah. dead soldiers in a minute. You are going to fail, and you are going to die. I mean, with all due respect, it's only okay. your. We got it's only Chris's here. arm. We're on it, Chris. Could survive. Head back to the central cavern and wait for further instructions. Don't let me down. He has a better chance of surviving his arm exploding than his fucking head exploding. I, I will put it that way. I think you'll be hard pressed to uh, disagree with that one. All right, where is that other wire? I don't want to run into it. Ooh. 
Nope. Not dealing with your shit. Step on the bomb, asshole. Of course you don't step on the fucking bomb. Chris, good news. Our video logs from the first unit show canisters of liquid nitrogen nearby. You might be able to deactivate the bomb by freezing it. Where are the canisters? The storage space in the mining work area. Go through the red shutter door. There we go. Did I even get the clown key? I don't recall. That's my dead friend. Uh, reload. Seven powerful shots. Swap to the shotgun. Got two incendiary grenades. I don't like that. Let's swap to regular grenades. There's you, yeah, I know. We're just gonna run fast. Oh, there's a lot of you. Okay. Might have to fight. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I forgot. That's what I fucking got. Whatever. Um. Shotgun ammo. That is important. Of course, it falls down the exact moment I'm getting over here. And there is a. Alright, grenade time. Or I think we can. What? It is a very fucking Chris Redfield thing to just fucking walk up to an enemy and just punch the fucking shit out of it. I admire that. With the grenade in his hand, too. Let's pull you over here. I'm just gonna go. Oh, you're about to catch up to me. Yep. Shit. We can shotgun, get you off my fucking ass. Okay. Yeah, it's not even attacking, it's just fucking belly bumping me. Let me see if I can use another ramrod shot. Nope. Okay, let's grenade you. Please. Okay, come on, hurry. Come on. Oh, fuck the name. So many of these little fucking shits. Damn. Little head humpers. Oh, shit. I'm about to die. Nope. I need grenades. Yes. It's stuck. Uh. 
Fucking shit. Not exactly a great Resident Evil boss battle, I must say. Alright. I think it's about to explode. Nope. Nope, just spawning. Maybe not a great idea to shove your hand in there, because that's gonna fucking hurt. I did it. Take it off before it thaws and restarts. Shit! Toss it, dude. You alright, Chris? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, Lucas. It's just you and me. Your hand's gonna be all frozen now, dude. It's possible. See if you can get in there to check it out. Got it. All right, so we're already pretty close to um, the end of this, which is cool. But now we have the clown key, so we can start the big old contraption, my bob. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, you don't aim down sights in the base game. Uh, that's a that's a Chris thing. Ethan just kind of zooms in a little bit and the reticule gets uh, smaller. I guess I should save, not that I really need to. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Um, let's just get rid of these coins for now. Don't need them. That's gonna start this big old drill. Why there's a big old drill here? Safe, whatever you want to call it. Oh, yeah, it's on this side, duh. Oh, we have regular bullets. Cool. But we should pack grenades. Christopher, stay with us, I see. Very impressive, my Very friend. Dark in here. Very impressive. Let's just see how impressive you really are. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be a bit of a rush moment. So this is going to be much easier. Oh, fuck me. Okay. Oh, I guess you can fucking parry as Chris. Oh, need to switch to the Jesus bullets. And... There we go. Right through the fucking... Yep. Maybe you're good. Maybe you got lucky. What do you say? Oh, shit. Okay. Good thing we have. Shit. shit. Uh, 
damn it. I need to just keep these out. There we go. They are more of a path. This is incredibly tight quarters. Christopher, almost had you that Not time. Really. Just how much do you think you can take? Oh, it's gonna be big old fuckers. Shit. I do not like killing you guys up close. You guys fucking suck. Taking so much damage from this thing. I think I should, should be dead, right? You got no head. You should be dead. Christ. Okay, I am out of shotgun ammo. Okay. Okay. No more, alright? I don't have anything left. You won't get any sympathy from me, asshole. I know. I know. I've done. I've done terrible things. Horrible things. Kills your man. I tortured them, and I enjoyed every second, soldier boy. Just like I'm going to enjoy watching you burn. Commencing oh. countdown to detonation. Oh. You hear that? Sounds like time's running out for you. Tick tock, Christopher. Tick tock. You're gonna kill me. Just kill me. Nice. For the love of God, shut the fuck up. Oh, I wish I could stay and watch you burn to death. But I can't. I have it elsewhere to be. Bye-bye. Now, the fact that Ethan struggles to even take out, like, a small amount of the molded, and then Chris is just able to take out an entire room of these in, like, so such close quarters. He, he, Chris is just a fucking badass. Fuck. Is it this one? No, it's the one that we started up. So we gotta run. You can stand and run a little faster though, Chris. Just a little more. Three. At least it's not a quick time of that. So there is that. I'm fine. We managed to intercept an email Lucas just sent out. Listen to this. Umbrella and Redfield have been taken care of. Dealing with them cost me some time. Cost them a lot more. But I can still get that data to you, but we're quits after that. He thinks I'm dead. This might be our chance. Who'd he send it to? We're still decrypting that. Just get Lucas. Keep me posted. Alright, this is a little bit of a bigger area. Because there's going to be some multiple rooms to explore. What we're hoping to get is some items. There we go. Oh, shit. I didn't realize you were in here, buddy. How are you still alive? Med injector, dolly. Uh, there's Mia, Mama Dolly. There's a wheelchair for, cause she was getting older. 
Or no, I don't think she got older till she got to the bakers. I guess I didn't really have to come in here, but I did anyway. Oh no, here we go. Uh, so yeah, it talks about how she's aging all of a sudden, losing weight, hair falling out, the works. The more she screams, the more she vomits. Basement's heavily contaminated. No apparent cause for the aging. Gonna ask for further instructions. Oh no, so yeah, so this was at the... Um, at the uh, at Jack's residence, whatever. Turn one guy, fat guy into a f turned one guy into a fat mole dude. So Lucas was given reports. So items regen mole dude. I believe the other floor is over from here, right? I don't trust you. Nope. <laughs> uh, no. Let's see your notes. Sick this guy, Lucas, they gave him my job as lead researcher. What do they think I am? A Stanford graduate the master's of microbiology. Have to work under this lunatic. All he does is mess around with the test subjects, making them all fight each other and doing unnecessary autopsies. He's sick. He knows nothing about the E-series mimetis. Mutamite? My sets? Potential? I'm going to report his behavior at the next meeting with HQ. Do I have any regular pistol ammo? Yes, I should be using that. Grenades. Handgun ammo. Alright. More handgun ammo. There's Lucas through here. Lucas. You little shit. Um. I really should have gone to the other hallway at the beginning. I believe it's just like a save room or whatnot, but I'm not necessarily going for a speed run, even though it kind of feels like I am. Uh, that's not where it is. I think it might even connect to a different area. I think that's it. No, oh, yeah, it's literally fucking locked from the other side. Okay, yeah. That was a waste of my super duper cool speed run. Let's just pull my knife out and fuck around with that. Oh, I know that stops me from running. But I can't do this while running. It gives us something to look at. Turn the power on. <coughs> Lucas is a fun villain, I'll give him that. Oh, Lucas! He is most definitely a fun villain. Oh, oh yeah, the thing would have shot at me. So let's just uh, fuck with this shit. Things got a little out of hand, but I took care of it. I'm sending the E data now, it shouldn't take too long. After he goes through, I'm out of hits you. That's where he panics. Incendiary grenades. Killed off all the connections researchers. They were poking around when they weren't supposed to when I wasn't looking, but I knew exactly what they were up to. Probably didn't like having reports of me, so I threw them in a cage with some molded. They shit their pants and begged for their lives. I'm just worried I won't be able to hold back from laughing when I make the report that they met with an unfortunate accident. Probably a good time now to cut ties with the connections. I'm the only one who can really make good use of Evelyn's mold. So Lucas was basically selling all this data and stuff to another organization, but trade the researchers who caught on to some of his hijinks. Why is this door even here? It doesn't need to be. It's so unnecessary. There's not really much backtracking to do. This, the, aside from that opening segment or whatever, this uh, DLC is fairly linear as all hell. 
Oh, doesn't even have ammo. And here is the boss battle. We got your emails. We know you're funneling info to someone. That's none of your goddamn business, Chris. A lot of people out there want to know about our little AV. A lot of people. Your friends, the connections know about this? They don't strike me as the forgiving type. That's my business. You let me worry about that. You're about to have your hands full. Where are you, Lucas? Why is it looking like he's pantsless? <laughs> uh, he's just wearing khakis. <laughs> I can't. I, I don't. No. I don't believe it. You got shot. Believe it. It's over. No. No way. Just shut up and accept it, Lucas. Love that, you, he already injected. Oh boy. I know he already had the mold in him. He's just losing control of his uh, situation down here. Really like keeping under wraps. Tell me something I don't know. He always had the mold in him. You're going to need to proceed with caution. Extreme caution. Oh, well, that's different. Like it haven't been since we got here. <laughs> All right, this boss battle is actually kind of hard from what I remember. You come in here. It's the Keep shooting his little PS1 weak point. Doop. Once again, thankfully, play with the mouse. Not as easy on the, for the controller. And this is a Resident Evil ass looking Resident Evil boss. Punch you or something? <laughs> the knife's not gonna help as much, Chris. I didn't think it was pretty funny. Shit. I need to do a better job of blocking. If I remember correctly, it's better to use weaker weapons like the handgun at the beginning because you'll start to poison the area and that's when you need to end it quickly. So it's better to use weak stuff now versus later. Job healing, or not healing, dodging, blocking. I am doing damage at a steady enough pace. Oh, yeah, another thing with Chris, you don't have to wait uh, for an extended period of time between uh, shots to get your full accuracy, it's just always there in uh, ADS mode. Curious to see how they approach that. Right, so let's use a shotgun now. Thanks for the advice. 
Oxygen supply station ready for service. Shit. Come on, heal. I think I'm running out of house supplies too, so. Fucking head off. Finally. Chris, the data transfer is almost complete. How do I stop it? You need to find a way to shut down the server. There may be some transformer relays you can. Oh, it, it is quite hot, okay. uh, Justin. From your river. What's the sit rep? The facility is clear. Even the newer breeds have been neutralized. <sighs> and I'm out of here. Yeah, that's basically the DLC. It's, um... Perimeter wall is up and operational. It's a nice right. action-oriented, action kind of short... Slice of uh, the main game. Not for them, unfortunately. But the mold is contained. Hopefully, they're Evie's last victims. Hopefully. Chris, there's a call for you. You need to take it back at the camp. All right. I'm on my way. Yeah, nice, nice free piece of content, action oriented. Um, curious to see if maybe they meld uh, Ethan's gameplay from the base game with uh, the more action ori oriented uh, uh, take that that this DLC takes for uh, Resident Evil Eight. It seems like they have a bigger emphasis on multiple enemies at the same time from the trailers, where there's a bunch of uh, villager-like enemies as long as well as. Um, like, like a big dude with a hammer, so maybe we will, but we still have about like 30 minutes for the stream for the duration. I want to try at least at least to do two hours per stream, so um, I'm not quite set up at the moment to swap over to my PS5 where we can do some Valhalla. That's the game I'm currently playing through on there. But I do have Resident Evil's, um, the remakes of uh, 2 and 3 here on my PC. Uh, so we might just go ahead and do that, but I'm going to take a quick break to use the restroom anyway. So I'll be back and then we'll go ahead and jump into that, okay?
Alright, we are back when we're going to do about 30 minutes or so of Resident Evil 2. Give or take, depending on where save areas and whatnot. Uh, let's see, apparently when I was gone, uh, Shadow Beast uh, wants to know if I wear diapers. Um, I think diapers are inevitably the way of the future, and they're a convenient way to keep doing what you're doing without interruptions, and people need to embrace the diaper future. Uh, Nightbreed says he wears diapers, just get a toilet installed <laughs> uh, underneath you. That, that's true. Big brain moves, really gotta think outside the box. Uh, so this is my first time booting up Resident Evil 2 on this PC, so I just need to... Um, you must restart, no, let's not bother with that right now. Uh, let's see, refresh rate 144, V-Sync, we don't need that. We got a freaking 3080. We are fine. Or, you know, this. Apparently, I'm overloading it. Or what was the warning? Red due to high usage. Minor bugs may occur. Whatever. If anything, it's just future proofing, so I'm not too worried. Back shadows on. Don't like film noise. Okay, we're good on that. Uh, controls, I don't remember what the keyboard controls are. It should be pretty relatively simple. Quick turn is Q. Not like I'll need it if I'm playing with the mouse. Um, yeah, should be easy. Story, new game. Let's do Leon on standard. Need your gamer toilet throw out this chair. <laughs> it's got to be like a, a like like a all in one, right? It's a gamer chair and it has a, just has a toilet underneath, like a fucking kitty training toilet. <laughs> I forgot how fucking dark this game is, and it's like especially the settings I'm using. Um, you guys might not be seeing the same thing because the, or maybe, the NVIDIA settings I have are sent specifically to the monitor, so it's adjusting it on a monitor level, so I'm not sure if that would affect the game recording for what you're seeing. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I need to do one quick little thing for the stream. Leon's campaign. Resident Evil 2. To remake. There we go. You're out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up around these things, it'll sink to teeth in the middle. I should have somebody. Oh, come on. Just getting good. Yeah, I don't know what kind of freaking horsepower the game is like requiring for these fucking higher gigabyte settings. Like, I have a 3080. Like, aside from the 3090, like that's the top graphics card on the market. I should be able to do it, but it says some bugs may occur. So, um, not a fan of bugs. So let's just avoid it, and these settings are gonna look fine just the way they are. This intro. The settings might be a little too dark, but I can't fix them at the moment. It does look nice, though, so if this is a movie, it would definitely be 
optimal, but in terms of just gameplay, uh, that's a separate story. I seem to be having some amount of frame issues on stream, though. Let me see if I can fix that. Nothing Nothing else happens in the rest of that cutscene. We're fine. Uh, let me investigate what that is. Um... 45% over the last two minutes. That is odd. Okay. Uh, we should be fine now, I would imagine. Don't know why that would have happened. Um, see display, brightness, until the pattern is barely visible. Yeah, it was, it was off. <laughs> Just fell until the picture on the left disappears. There we go. This is much better. We can actually see what the fuck we're doing. But the stream is kind of crapping out for some reason. Don't know what's up with that. Let me see if I can see what's going on. I think it may just be some internet issues we're having at the moment. Because right now it looks... Nope, it's going back to medium. Um, you know what? Uh, we already did Resident Evil 7. We'll come back to 2 in a bit. Um, I feel bad if like, this is like the quality <laughs> I'm putting out there. But we will come back to this. There's there's probably some weird launcher issues, some drivers, but uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, I think everyone here at least knows the drill. Like, comment, subscribe on all the socials. Twitter is the best place to keep up to date. Um, aside from Sundays at 6.30 p.m. where we do the game session podcast. That's on PST, by the way. Um, random streams are bound to happen. I'm on a little bit of a Resident Evil binge. So, yeah, we're going to be playing Resident Evil 2 Remake as well as the 3 Remake. Maybe we'll jump into... I've already streamed 4 so many times, but we'll probably jump into 5 and uh, 6. We're, I'm actually going to be streaming with uh, a co-host of Game Session, um, uh, Sarah of Mars. So that should be fun. There'll be some fun co-op. And maybe we'll, maybe we'll throw some Assassin's Creed in there, but we will see. Uh, but the best place to stay up to date uh, for what I am streaming is either follow on Twitch and they'll give you notifications whenever I go on, as well as just follow me on Twitter. You'll see what I'm up to, what my plans are. Till then, uh, thank you guys, and I will see you next time.